Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do basic font styles using CSS, better known as Cascading Style Sheets. If you do your own HTML, um, you probably have used CSS to varying degrees. If you haven't used it before, I'll show you how it works. If you, you have a basic HTML document, and I'll type up one here, HTML head title this is my web page title, end title, head, body. This is oops, header of web page, end h1, p. Here is a paragraph, end paragraph, end body, end HTML. All this is a very basic web page. We have started with the HTML, then the head, then the title, which is uh, what shows up in the title bar up here of the browser, and then end the head tag, and then start body tag. We have a header, which is the header of the web page. I just put it very basic, and a paragraph saying here is a paragraph, end body, end HTML. Now let's say I wanted to add a style to this. I can do this one of two ways. Um, it always resides between the begin of head and the end of head. So I will go ahead and put it right here. Style type equals text CSS. And then I will uh, put body, font family, Arial, sans serif, end style. What will occur is that what I just did is I told it to say, okay, this is the beginning of style. This is the end of the style sheet. This is what I want to happen. And what will happen is that this stuff right here will be in the Arial, or if Arial is not found, it will default to a sans serif font, whatever the default font is for whatever system is accessing the web page. And that's basically the way it happens. Now, the second way to do this is if I link this to an external style sheet file. So let me get rid of this. We're still within head. So there's the start tag, there's the end tag. So I, instead of using style, I'll do link, rel equals style sheet href equals styles.css now what this does is that we're saying I want to link to a style sheet and call it styles.css you can have the file name as whatever you want I just happen to have mine as styles.css just for simplicity's sake the advantage to doing this is if you start doing multiple web pages Having a singular style sheet is a lot easier to manage than having different styles for every single web page. It's a lot easier to manage. So I'm going to go on the assumption you have an external style sheet like this. So let's get rid of this. Now, let's just say we're in the style sheet file called styles.css. Here's some really basic font stylings to get you going. We'll start with the body tag. Now the body is an HTML tag. It does not require a dot in front of it. It does not require a pound in front of it, just body. All uh, CSS styles begin, uh, you have the tag first, and then you have a left brace to start, and then a right brace to end. The brace is done by doing a shift bracket. So this one is a shift left bracket, and this one is a shift right bracket. Now what I want to do is I'll just say that every single piece of text inside the HTML document is going to be of the font Arial. So I will put font family Arial sans serif. Now if you're wondering why I do Arial and then comma and sans serif, I believe I said this already, but you should always put uh, a either one of three uh, fonts at the end, g generic fonts, either serif, sans serif with the dash, you gotta put the dash in there, or mono space. Now what this does is that if you're using a non-Roman font, such as Arial, it would be Arial sans serif. If you're using a Roman font, like Times New Roman, you would do comma serif. If you're using a typewriter style font, like Career New, you do comma mono space, which is a typewriter style font. Now you'll notice that I've been I'm putting quotes on some of these fonts, I put quotes in whatever font requires a space in order to spell it out. For example, Courier has no space. Arial has no space. But 
Kabuche MS does have a space in between us, so I would put it as Trebuchet MS comma sans serif because it is a sans serif style font. We'll leave it as Trebuchet MS here and say okay so we all the fonts that will appear in the document will be of Trebuchet MS. Now we'll put another HTML tag in here P which is paragraph and I will say okay I want all paragraph text to be of a specific size so I'll put P and then left brace right brace and then in the middle of these braces I will put font dash size 10 point and you gotta make by the way always make sure to add a semicolon at the end of any uh, CSS style that you do because if you have multiple commands in it let's just say I put font weight bold font uh, text transform lowercase this will not work. Why? Because I don't have the semicolons at the end. So I go semicolon here, here, and here. Now it will work. So it will show paragraph as a font size of 10. It will all be bold and it will all be lowercase. Even if there's uppercase letters, it will all be lowercase. Well, let's get rid of that and just do it real simple and say font size 10 point. And uh, that's the way we do it. And also, let's just say I wanted all to be a specific color. Color green. And yes, you can use uh, literal uh, words for colors. You don't. You can do it zero zero five five zero zero, or you can do ff zero 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 zero. However, you want to do it. But if you want to do literal names, you can do black, white, orange, uh, blue, gray, yellow, gold. You get the idea. But anyway, so we're gonna have it's just uh, green. So what happens is that, okay, everything in the HTML document will have a font of Trebuchet MS. If the font is not available, it will default to a sans serif font. And then for the paragraph tag, that will all be 10 point in size and it will all be green. And uh, that's just a really basic overview of CSS with HTML documents. And uh, of course, when we save this file, it will be saved as the file styles.css. And then when we go back to our HTML document, in between start and end head, we'd have link rel equals style sheet, href equals styles.css. I know I'm kind of rushing through this. There's a lot to know about CSS, but that is just a very basic, basic, basic overview of uh, doing style sheets. If uh, you, you want a good site in order to uh, find more information on how to do CSS, you most definitely want to check out uh, www.w3schools.com slash CSS slash. I'll have this linked in the sidebar so you don't have to remember it, but if you want to know all the tags and uh, what you can, uh, stylings and other things that you can do, go to w3schools.com slash CSS and you will be off to the races. Take it easy.